First tonight, lawmakers are getting ready to return to Topeka for the final day of the legislative session. And KSNT News Capitol Bureau reporter Alec Gartner shows us what to look out for on Wednesday. Legislators have the option to pass new bills or override some of the governor's vetoes, but it's not quite clear how sine die the ceremonial last day of the legislative session will go yet. On the to-do list, though, legislative leadership will meet Wednesday afternoon to determine whether to extend the state of emergency for coronavirus that expires May 28th. Senate Republicans will also vote who will replace Senator Gene Solentrop as majority leader after his arrest. This session, lawmakers have passed 119 bills. Governor Laura Kelly has vetoed 10 of them, and five of those have been overturned. Two new vetoes were just issued last week. One of them involved short-term insurance plans that she called junk. Another would have sent hundreds of millions of federal relief dollars to businesses hurt by coronavirus restrictions. But Kelly says that proposal didn't follow federal guidelines and wasn't the right way the state should spend money. There would be absolutely no transparency uh, and no accountability on how those funds were appropriated. Uh, that was wrong. You know, we will use the spark force process that was very transparent, very open, very accountable, and very efficient. If the legislature doesn't decide to override the business relief bill, the newly reorganized Spark Task Force that has become more favorable to Republicans will decide how to spend federal relief dollars. Reporting at the Capitol, I'm Alec Gartner.